content of my everything. He's angry. If she's playing with dolls at nine years old, she's a child me. If you can't she's see that, ready. no one can help you. She's not ready. Her body's not ready to even bear a child. Do you know? Do you know in certain places in the Middle East there are wards for children who have had sex to you because their hips have not broadened out? Right? Why, why do you think that's going on? Well, again, you're still comparing it to today to back then. Right? Do you yeah, think that Muhammad is the example for today? 100%. Right. So, but, would you allow? Part. Have you got any children? No, unfortunately not. Well, God willing, one day you will have children and they will be healthy and well and live good lives. God willing, I pray that for you. Thank you. But let's see, do this thought experiment with me. You've got a nine-year-old girl. Are you going to let her marry a 64-year-old man? No, not, not today. It's not, it's not in our culture. Again, like Shamsi said before, that was a cultural thing. It's yeah? cultural So it's thing. not an Islamic thing. Okay? It's not an Islamic because thing. Because I would... As you can, I'm sure you've done a lot of study on hadith. Yeah. There is no hadith where the Prophet instructs us to go and marry women at the age of nine or six. He What's the age that, of consent in Islam? There is no age. Uh, there is no age of consent in Islam. If uh, those are the three criteria, now, she's physically, yep. spiritually, and mentally able. Yeah. Then she can get married. She has to also uh, agree to it. Yep. So do you that's think the criteria? Do you think a nine-year-old child, not today, in the in, in the in in the dependence of her mother and father, is in a state to refuse marriage to people that they, who believe that he's a prophet? Sorry, say that again. I'm saying to you, Aisha didn't have a free choice. That's what I'm saying to you. Aisha, Aisha, my evidence mm -hmm. is that you've got a nine-year-old girl in the care of her parents in a community that believes that Muhammad was a prophet yeah. and pro the prophet is saying, I'd like to marry your daughter. Do you honestly think that that nine-year-old child could turn around to her parents, her community and this great religious figure and say, actually, no, I don't want to marry this old man? She could have. Do you, dude, if you... Are. Are you, are you, you clearly, I can see you've not had children. Yeah. I can see that. I'm, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm not trying to compare children A child children in her today. infancy. I'm, I'm talking about her. The subject is about Aisha. Yeah. So there's no point comparing her to children of today. A child in her infancy in her, would not be able to give in, a free choice. In her she couldn't cognitively yes. reason that it was right or wrong. She couldn't cognitively reason whether it was the right or the wrong decision for her. So your argument that she had a free choice is bogus. You're just saying that. Where's your evidence she had a free choice? If she didn't have a free choice, she wouldn't have narrated so many hadith, yeah? Yeah. And actually testified about how much she loved him, about their life together. Yeah. None of that would happen if she didn't willingly marry him and live the next nine years with him. Nine years? Nine years. He when, died when she was 18. She died when, so... He died. When he she died was, when, when she was 18. She was 18. Yeah. yeah. So, in terms of, in terms of living actually, those... Sorry, and do you actually know the reasoning behind this marriage? And why Muslims aren't actually commanded to do so today? The reasoning is the reason. irrelevant to the moral example that it provides. But I'm asking you, do you know? Not whether it's uh, relevant or not. Do you know the reasoning behind it? The, 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 reason, the argument that I'm making, the reasoning behind the marriage is irrelevant because what we're arguing about is the fact that we have a system of laws called Sharia. No, but you're, you're, you're making allow me, to, allow me to demonstrate. Yeah, sorry, sorry. We have this system of laws called Sharia that is supposedly utopian in, in virtue, that, it, mm -hmm. that is the answer to all the world's problems and it doesn't even give an age of consent. It does not even give an age of consent. We can do better with secular liberal laws than we can with Sharia. Now, you're trying to argue to me that this man who had sex with a nine-year-old child is a moral example to me. 100%. Right. I am saying to you... Not, that because, not because he had sex with a nine-year-old. That's so, not why, because that's, again... Would you, this was would, do you not think that him. that would disqualify him? No, it doesn't, because this was specific to him, and he, no, one, no other Muslim was instructed to do so. Yeah. Okay? So to use this example, to use this um, example to say that it disqualifies him, yeah, is, a, is not so. Very so strong. your argument is that Muhammad might have done it, but you don't have to do it. We don't have to. Right. So according to the Quran, right, 
when he talks about the, the period of waiting, three months, three months, or four right? months and ten days, and it, and, and it lists, months. doesn't it, the groups that you have to wait for as being three months. Yes. What's the reason for the waiting period? Pregnancy. Pregnancy. You all heard that. Yes. Pregnancy. Right. Listen to this verse very carefully. This is from Allah, so it gets worse. When we, we're not talking about Muhammad, we're talking about what Allah says. All right. Allah. Such Allah. of your women. This is in Surah 65 and Ayah 4. Surah 65, Surah 65, Ayah 4. Such of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, that means people who have gone into their menopause, for them the prescribed period, if ye have any doubts, is three months. Listen to the next bit. And for those who have no courses, for them, for it is the same. For what do you call a woman who has no courses? You know that there is a condition. I forgot the name. I'm trying to search it. There is a condition in which uh, some women reach uh, 25, 26, and some until they die, which in which they never ever experience a period. Uh, let, 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 I mean, this is a nice modern no, 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 no. apologetic. No, no, no. Remember, but this is uh, let's be clear. If you have any doubts, three months. Okay, For yes, those who have no courses, it is the same. This is talking about children who have not entered into puberty. No. And you just said that the waiting period is to make sure they're not yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Your mind and the mind of the Salafa was the same. You can have sex with kids. No. No. So, what what is this referring to then? I already told it. Let me find. Let me see if I can find the. the I, I know about the medical condition you're oh, you talking know about. about. Okay. I know about the medical condition. So right. you're saying so it's about you, that. Yeah. You're saying it's about that. Yeah. Okay. Can you prove this otherwise? Well, because I, there, there are women. So when it, I think I, like I said, the book is a no. Hold on. It covers everything. Yeah. Yeah. For those who have no courses, when it is comparing them to women, let me find the book. As a, a, a past Arabic. the age of monthly courses, yeah. I think that that is very clearly talking about children. I uh, just said it's not. And we have the example of Muhammad who had sex with a nine year old child. Like I said, there is no hadith yeah, and there is no verse that tells us that we can do so exactly what he did. When it, like for example, the things that he yeah. did that we are supposed to do are mentioned either in the Quran or the hadith. Yeah. yeah? The, Marriage to nine, six-year-olds, or whatever—that is not mentioned in either the Quran or the Hadith. But you've just said—you've just said that in Sharia law, there's it's, no it's, age of consent. There is no. The guy's name? Yeah. He said Myers, bro. I've been waiting for you oh, all the right, okay, days. Yeah. Cool. No. Right. So you, you're saying in Islam yeah. that you've got no age of consent. Yes. You're saying well, we in Islam that, that Muhammad is your example yes. can have sex with a nine-year-old child, and we're seeing in the Quran that it talks about women who have passed the age of having uh, periods and, and women who have not entered the period of, yeah. of, who have of not entered. having... Some women never enter, right. enter that period. Right. So which means they can get pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's obvious. So that, so that you, where cannot, is your you cannot limit that. Where you cannot, is your hadith? Hold on. Hold on. You cannot, okay, where is on. your hadith demonstrating to me that this ayah is talking about women who, who never have a, a period. Where's your, your evidence that that's the proper interpretation? You want me to bring up a hadith when this condition was not known back then? Thank you. Come this on. condition was not known back then. There so what do you reason. think it was there talking so many, about several, when it said for them the prescribed several, period, if you have any doubts, and three months, and for those who have no courses, it is the same. Remember that there are several verses in the Quran that we have no knowledge in terms of you know biology, physics, astronomical knowledge back then but we do today all right and the Quran covers it all and it's a book that covers all time right so just because we didn't know the uh, the condition back then does not mean it's not applica applicable to yeah. that condition it would be interesting to see what was the context by which this verse was revealed but here's my point brother here's my point yeah is that my name is Muhammad by the way okay Bob nice to meet you Muhammad. nice to meet you so here's my point yeah. uh, Muhammad yeah. um, the, the reality is, when I look at Sharia law, mm -hmm. and I look at liberal secular law, uh -huh. I think that we would be doing better to follow liberal secular law over Sharia law. All right, well, that's a broad subject. Let's try yeah. to stick it to, yeah. but to that's this my, one. But we're using this as an example, and this is why. Because in Islam, okay. you okay. don't have an age of let consent, me, I, but can, in can secular I liberal of, law that we do. Can I answer the age of consent? Yeah. Because... Um, you could have, uh, in today's society, you could have a woman that's 20, uh, 25 years old 
uh, you know, she's got, she's physically ready, um, but she could not, she might not be spiritually or mentally ready. True or not? Yes. Could that not be the case? That could be the case. Okay. So that's why we don't have an age of consent. Not because we're allowed to marry a nine-year-old or a six-year-old. It's because women are very. Everyone's different. Did you just admit you can marry a nine and a six-year-old? Saying I said it's not because we can. Okay. Can you? Physically. Today's society, we all know children are, are not. Yeah, but 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 Shams has made this big deal about Western superior, you know, that Western imperialism. Well, he has because got a point when we, we aren't we aren't we aren't oh, using yeah. the ages of consent we find in Africa and the Middle East. But in places like Africa and the Middle East, we see places we see old. places where children who are not ready to be married are being married and are then suffering physically forced. because they're having sex. Forced. Yeah. No, no, no. They're not what, all they're being forced. They're not all being forced. They're living in cultures and contexts where they're expected to marry and they don't know any better and they marry. Yeah, Go to well, Pakistan. That's a lack of education. Go to Pakistan. But yet, okay, Shamsi so plays, no, no, no. Shamsi he's, plays he's this. Made, but he has made a valid point when you say that even in this country, up until 100 years ago, yes. you know, girls were able to get married at seven. So, and that's 1300 years after the fact. And the other point that he brought up, which is uh, that in his society, no one made an issue. Imagine this, the Prophet Muhammad uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah. he was reprimanded by the pagans and the Jews and the Christians yeah. just for saying, I believe in one God. Yeah. So saying I believe in one God isn't a big deal. Yeah. But according to you, have, uh, you know, uh, marrying a, uh, a girl at six yeah. and uh, consummating it at nine is a big deal. Why did they not say anything? If they made a huge, huge deal... Are, are, you, aware, say, are you aware that the Byzantine... I, and, go on, I'll let you finish actually, well, go on, you, I think you probably knew what I was going to say. Yeah. You are go. you aware that yeah. the Byzantine Empire yes. in the fifth century, so that's two centuries, two centuries. before Islam, yeah. elevated the age of consent to 12 or 13 years old? Yeah. Okay, so even back in the classical world, before Islam was founded, cultures and civilizations were identifying that they needed to create a, a lower bar, a, 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 a bar raising above nine, above nine. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm trying to say to you... Remember that the Arabian Peninsula, the Arabs at the time were quite ignorant of cultures around them. Yeah. yeah? So that, that didn't filter into their culture. I agree. But, but what I'm saying to you is that the Byzantines knew better than Muhammad. That's not, that's not necessarily true. Just because, they, just because they raised it doesn't mean that was better than that. Would you like to get... As a Muslim, would you like to get rid of the age of consent in this country? No. So what you're saying is you would prefer the liberal oh, secular law over Sharia law? Sorry, I'll ask the question again. So, I'll ask you again. <laughs> yeah. As a Muslim, As a Muslim do you yes. want to get rid of the age of consent in this country? No, I think it's fine. It's okay, it so you're choosing now, because you've already admitted, and it's on camera, that in Islam there's no age of consent. Yes. You are admitting, so well, you're saying that you would prefer liberal secular law to Sharia law? No. Oh, so no. No, no it's not a contradiction. No, I know you're going to say it's Explain a contradiction. To, square right? the circle for me. Okay, okay. because, because you, your second question was, would I prefer it? Not would I choose it, you know, so you didn't give me a choice. Here, either this oh. or that. Oh. No, 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 no. It's a free country, man. You're a free man, yeah? Hold on, yeah, but I don't have to assimilate. <laughs> you you don't expected, have to assimilate. It's expected, Interesting. Though, isn't it? Anyway, uh, like I said, uh, the... He doesn't have to assimilate. Let him, let him speak, let him speak. Let's not behave like the Islamic Dawah team. Let him speak. Uh, don't behave like this Christian missionary here. Okay. Ali Dawa, Ali. Ali Dawa. I debate you next. Um, Go, Ali. I lost my trail of thought now. You, the, the, question was, the question was: You're on record as stating that in Islam there is no, no age, age of consent. consent. Yes. Take it, take it. But then you answered okay. the question that if you would you want to get rid of the age of consent in this country, and you said no. Mm. Yeah. So I want you to square this circle for me as a Muslim. Okay. Do you prefer the Sharia law, no age of consent? Or do you prefer liberal secular law which says age of consent? Right. I prefer no age of consent. Uh, no age, no of, age consent. of consent. So as a Muslim, do you want to get rid of the age of consent in this country? No. Right. No, no. Like I said, I know you're saying... Your conscience is fighting your reason, friend. No, the reason, the reason your for your reason that... Your conscience is fighting your reason. reason for that. Personally, yeah, this is a personal thing. Uh, because if we, the age of consent as it is works fine with the multi multicultural society that we have. Within the Islamic community, 
the no, no age of consent thing works perfectly. So okay. you would like to get rid of the age of consent within the Islamic community? Sorry? Would you like to get rid of the age of consent within yes. the Islamic community? Well, that's our okay. law. Sharia law, that's, that's what we follow. Okay, right. So you, what, I'm, what, what I'm hearing, yeah, is that you want to abolish any legal protection that a child has not to be married. Actually, we already have a legal protection in place for them. What, what, what is that? Show me the hadith. Well, like I said. So you said you the said woman, the woman cannot cannot, cannot get marry if unless they're she's physically, physically, mentally, and spiritually right. And she has to give consent. So show me where wait, wait, it says hold on, that. Hold on. She okay. has to give consent. So show me where it says that in the Quran. In the Quran, is there a verse, Ali? Oh, I can't remember. By the maybe, 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 Ali, maybe, Ali, help him. Ali, help, help him. Ali. Ali, that one. Help oh, me. No, we're we're not. Help your brother. Help your brother. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not encyclopedias, you know. There are, there are things. You know, he knows. He knows. He knows. He's allowed to call a friend. That's fine. That's fine. You can call a friend. 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 Ali, the question. The question. That's not a problem for us. Right? The brother. The bro Shamsi, Shamsi the first, no, no, no. the great caliph here. Uh, Shamsi ran off, as he always does. Shamsi ran off. So, so, so the question. Oh, well, it's on film. Everyone can, everyone can view it and make their own mind up. So, the question that I asked was the the defence given by Muhammad and Shamsi to Sharia law is that a woman cannot marry unless they're mentally, spiritually and physically able and that for this reason you don't need an age of consent. So what I'm asking for is where in she the Quran... Also, she also has to give consent. Yes, yeah, she has to give she consent. Be so what I'm asking for is where in the Quran or the Hadiths does it show that a woman has to be mentally, physically, spiritually able to marry and give consent. Where's your evidence? One verse in the Quran. Okay. One verse in the Quran. Show me one I'm going to answer the question. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to answer it so you guys understand, yeah? So I'm not answering Bob's question. Not answering oh. my Bob's question. No, I want you to answer my question. Oh. 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 Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, you're not here to kidnap I'm this discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Answer the question. I'm answering, I'm answering, the question. I'm answering like, maybe this guy's yeah. asking me. Yeah. No, I'm asking you. I'm answer, answer Bob's question. question. I'm going to answer the question. He's going to rephrase my question. So, so now, what I'm going to do, guys, where, look, where is it in the Quran or the Hadith? It shows One verse in the Quran. Firstly, firstly, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a clear cut evidence because he married. One second, one second. And basically, where do we. By the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed to me, Ali Dow, subscribe to my channel. We'll release the video. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. Self promotion. I thought pride and vanity wasn't a trait of a Muslim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, moving swiftly on Next. nice yeah, you, you know low blow. You know when you're boxing, you somebody hits you up. You better. Anyway, so anyway. answer the question. Answer the question. Can I, can I, can I answer, answer the question. Answer, answer the question. Answer the reason I said subscribe to my channel is not so oh. I can be like, oh. no, 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 we don't. You know what? Answer, answer the question. Bro. Answer the question, oh, Ali. Boring, bro. Shut him, bro. Oh, oh, he's complaining that he's been shouted at. Every week I come here and get shouted at. Have you guys finished? Yeah, so, you finished yet? We're not in the playground, we're not So, answer okay. the question. Okay. 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 Calm down. Hurry up. Why are you stalling, Ali? Stop stalling, bro. You're stalling, Ali. You're stopping me. I'm, oh, you're stopping me, yeah, stop You're stopping me. You're stopping me. So answer, answer the question. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Hurry up. Calm down. Before Christmas. All right. Wait, I think he's going to answer the question that I asked. Now, anyway. The reason I said subscribe to my channel is oh, because... We don't care, the man. question... I'll, I'll restate yes, the question. Ali. 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 All right. We'll, we'll, let him, we'll let him talk for a bit. Now, we'll let him talk for a bit. The reason I was saying subscribe to my ch channel is because... We we, one second. I'm going to come to... The, I'm going to answer it. Calm down. Relax yourself. Calm down. Have a coffee. It's because we're going, we'll be uh, releasing two serious videos discussing this topic. Now, coming to the main question here, oh, is you said where is the evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah? Yeah. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him married oh, Aisha at six, consummated the marriage at nine. Yes. Okay. Now, why did the Prophet wait three years? So, why did he wait three years? Why? Why would I would have been like a pedophile who loves children? Yeah. Why would he wait three years for? Okay. So, one, I mean, uh, 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 one second. That's what I said. Bob, anyone can buy it. Not you. Anyone can. I'm saying. I'm answering the question. The prophet peace be upon him. The fact that he waited three years. Why? Because Aisha was not ready to consummate the marriage because she wasn't mentally, sexually, and physically ready. And the Quran and the Sunnah says there's a harm factor, which means, which means in this country the legal age is what? 
Okay, so. I haven't finished, I haven't finished. Right, so? Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa has given, Ali Dawa has given an answer. Ali, Ali Dawa. That, that's what, that, that's what he thinks, yeah. That's what he thinks. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Ricky, I'm Ali, yeah? Ricky. Question, Ricky. Yeah? You answer his question. Ricky. Yeah? Bob, you're above the building. Just carry the building, yeah? Okay. Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, yeah, yeah. let me stick to the guy, man. The guy. Ricky, yeah, yeah, okay. use your like, own like mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a nine-year-old child yeah. able can to I, do that's what can just, just 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 But do you? Is he, is you don't need. You can think for yourself. Are you his brain? He thinks so. Are you his brain? So, Ali Dawa. That she was mature enough that age to give consent. That's what he thinks. If a child is nine years old, that she was mature enough. So I'm listening. I'm. Do you? The reason to. So, notice he's not actually answering my question. Yeah. Wait till the dying. Ali Dawa's argument is this. Ricky, he wants to isolate you. Ricky, Ricky, don't let him corner you, man. Ali Dawa, answer the question. Ali, the question. So the question that I asked, the, the question that I asked you, Ali Dawa. No, you you want to answer my question? Why don't you answer my question? My no, the question that I asked you was where in the Hadith and the Quran does it demonstrate and say clearly that a child cannot marry unless they are mentally, physically unable to do so? Ali Dawa's response was, well. Muhammad waited three years. Yeah. What does that prove? Nothing. It proves nothing. nothing. It just proves that no. Muhammad fancied a girl at six but realized he had to wait no, no, no. until she was a little older before he wanted to do something about it. It does not prove, it does not demonstrate that Muhammad instituted laws he does right, not demonstrate. Let me let me finish my oh, point. No, 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 no. It does not demonstrate an answer to my question. I ask the question: Where in the Hadiths or the Quran does it stipulate clearly that a woman, a child, has to be mentally, physically, and spiritually able to marry and give consent? That was the question. Yeah. All Ali Dawa did is say that a man who had sex with a child waited three years before he wow. did so. That doesn't prove the question that I'm asking. I'll ask you again, Ali Dawa. Where in the Quran or the Hadiths does Muhammad say, does Muhammad teach that you have to wait for someone to be mentally, spiritually, physically able and that they give consent. That is the question that I'm asking you, not how long a paedophile waits to rape a child. Answer the question. I'm going to answer you. If I get stopped once, I'm going to kindly move on, yeah? Okay, now, they're here for an agenda. I assume you're here to learn, yeah? The question that was asked, well, I'm going to assume, is this. How do we know from the Quran and the Sunnah that you see that behavior? You see that behavior? You know why? Because they know they're going to get debunked. Yeah? That's why. Anyway, sexually, mentally, and physically ready. I'm asking a very simple question. A pedophile who loves children, yeah, wants to commit sexual intercourse with children, yeah? Why on earth would he wait three years? I just want to know. I want to know. A Do you see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? I love the Look, look. When I was talking, did any of the Muslims buy in? Because you know why? You know the answer's hurting you, fam. It's poking you. It's poking you. Ricky. So, Ricky. If someone waits a while to come. Look, have I finished my case? Ricky, I say the best thing, though, is answer this question. No, no, no. I'm just going to ask one question. I promise you, I'm going to answer this. But I'm just saying, they're not going to let me speak. So, can I kindly just speak? Would you let him speak? Would they want to let him speak and give his answer to what he's saying? Everyone go listen to him. Are you going to be naughty? If he answers my question, I want him to answer my question. 
Ricky Wobbs. 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 Ricky
Man say it straight. Man don't listen to BBC. Man don't listen to IG. And you also I've only pulled up one uh, one source for yep. Garden Consent. I can't find the other. Yeah, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. But with it, um, Aisha asked the Prophet uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if women must be asked for their permission on marriage. Yep. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied yes. She said the virgin is asked for her permission but gets shy. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said her silence is her permission. So, from that hadith, silence is her permission. Yeah.